Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this conventional single spring ramp door spring for up to a six foot wide enclosed trailer and it has an 80 pound spring capacity. Now this part will replace your old trailer door spring with this nice heavy duty conventional ramp door spring. Now this ramp door spring will let you easily lift and lower the door on your enclosed trailer without risk of injury. It is designed to help take on the weight of that trailer door so that you don't have to. The spring reduces wear, helps prevent damage to the door hinges. And when you do install this, the spring is designed to be mounted one way for proper operation. And the way you can tell that is you look at these cable drums. When installing this, uh, this spring, these cable drums are marked. This is stamped R for right. This one is stamped L for left. And what you want to do is make sure that this right, right side here will mount on the curb side of the trailer. The left side drum it mounts on the road side of the trailer. Now besides being stamped with an R and an L, if you notice they do spray paint a color on here to help you. The black is for the right and the red right here they, they spray paint on there is for the left side. Just helps you out visually. Now this spring system can also be modified to fit your specific application. You can slide the cable drum and all your brackets down and cut the shaft to a shorter length if need be. The application will fit a 37 and a half inch to 67 and 5 eighths inch wide trailer door. So basically from this edge of the cable drum to this edge is going to be the 67 and 5 eighths. If you loosen this cable drum and you need it shorter, you can go all the way in. Now I do not have the mounting brackets installed, but those would be one on each end here. But basically you go all the way in and tighten it down, and then your measurement from here to here is going to be the 37 and a half inches. So you can actually move this to whatever width door you have. Once you get it in the correct position and tighten it down, you can cut off the remaining tube that's not needed. <coughs> go ahead and slide this all the way back out. Now this does include everything shown here on the table. It will include the mounting brackets, the hardware for the mounting brackets, the bearings. It includes a 110 inches of 1 8 inch diameter cable and the hardware for the cable. And it gives you also a set of screw covers. This is a nice sturdy steel construction. It is made in the USA. Specs again, the overall length, if we put a ruler on it from this end, all the way to this end is right at 67 and 5 8 inches. The diameter, the widest part is the cable drum, so the diameter on that is 4 and 3 quarter inches. Spring capacity we mentioned is 80 pounds. Now one thing I do want to warn you is, is that it is recommended that only individuals who have experienced winding torsion springs install this product, because when you go to wind the spring there's a lot of tension involved and it could be dangerous. So if you've not worked with a torsion spring system before, we do recommend contacting a local garage door company to help you install this spring. But that should do it for the review on this conventional single spring ramp door spring for up to a six foot wide enclosed trailer and it has an 80 pound spring capacity.